The Tokyo Extreme Racer series is a much beloved, if a bit unknown racing franchise. Mainly trying to be an adaptation of highway focused racing, it has a dedicated fanbase as there aren't a lot of games out there emulating this category of street racing. The franchise was built up and produced by Genki, a Japanese studio which has been making racing games since as early as the 90s, but have truly found their calling with the 2000s with the aforementioned Tokyo Extreme Racer series. However, Genki also produced a spin-off to their most successful franchise. One that would instead focus on toge racing, involving driving at blistering speeds down Japan's tight mountain roads. This series was called Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift, and I decided to check out the third and final game of these spin-offs, Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. Yes, 2. Look, it's a bit of a mess, the game has three different names, let's just ignore all of that and get to the important stuff. I was actually pretty excited to check this one out. A Simcade style game with a huge car and track list, tons of customization, RPG elements and fantastic graphics for a game from 2007? Or 2006 in Europe? Or 2005 in Japan? You know what, I'm just going to shut up about the history of the game. All you have to know is that Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2 has become one of my favorite racing games for the PlayStation 2. It has so many features we would only see way later in much more modern games. Definitely a great game that flew under my radar, and if it flew under yours too, I suggest you stick around. Bring some love to this wonderful game. Or maybe not wonderful, maybe I'll end up hating it, we'll see. We have Conquest Mode, Record Challenge, Record Tour and Versus Battle. I think Versus Battle is... Uh, Split screen. Alright, let's see. I guess Cocos mode is sort of the career. So let's just jump right in there. Why not? Why is it so blurry? <laughs> Little pet peeve. I hate keyboards that are ordered alphabetically, man. It, it throws me off so hard every single time. Let's jump right in. Is this account name okay? Yes. With the emotional damage king gone from the Kaido Knight scene, two dominant figures emerged. Absolute Emperor and the Miracle Summit. And those names sound like... They were randomly generated. Yeah, can't be a can't be a Tokyo Extreme Racer game without completely randomized names. Welcome to Kaido World. First, let's buy your new vehicle. Oh, there's a used car dealer in this. Okay, okay, Gran Turismo 4 vibes. Dude, we start with two million eight hundred and forty red points. Derek, so we could we could go for a juiced start. <laughs> the juiced one starter car. So it's a drifting game, right? Why should we start with a front wheel drive car? It sounds like. A terrible idea. <laughs> Alright, here's, here's a reward. Yeah, there we go. So that one's riced up. <laughs> we, could, we could start with a pre-riced car. And I'm really looking at this Honda thinking like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, it says turbo. So it sounds like it has a turbo in it. Select a method of payment. Uh, do you accept crypto? <laughs> Input a license plate number. Sure. Oh, even with or without backlighting. Okay, that's really cool. So it has a turbo, right? Boost. <laughs> I know you probably want to hit the streets, but wait a sec. Kaido World is divided into day and night. During the day, you can enter official races or take sponsor tests. Cars and parts can only be bought during the day. Oh, really? So they did this, they did the Need for Speed Heat thing before that was even a game. Pass sponsor tests to become a sponsored driver, then put your sponsor sticker on your car and if you win a category race, your price money will go through the roof. Oh, so that's a little bit of grit sprinkled in there too. <laughs> what? That is insane. That, that, that is like straight up from grit. Alright, so we have a lot of money left and they recommended you to actually uh, upgrade this thing, so let's do it. The engine might blow up if you fully upgrade the Honda. Really? Are you just saying that or...? Oh man, that looks straight up like in Gran Turismo 4. Straight up. Also, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do. Rally kit? Wait, what changed? Carbon bonnet. Oh yes, there we go. You can also color it if you want to. That actually lowers your weight a little bit. Carbon trunklet? Oh god! <laughs> Mudflaps. Dude, you can, you can really make some rally cars here. Look at this. Canards? Yeah, you can see them there, just ever so slightly. Wow, okay, that's cool. <laughs> you can do that, you can do those angry car lights if, like, you know, from Underground 2. GT wing, yeah, what could possibly... <laughs> oh, that looks so shit! Oh, that looks so sad! Oh, no, let's not do that. Oh, wow, you can make them brighter? Of 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can blind your enemies in this game. <laughs> That is pretty overwhelming, gotta say, but in a good way. I, li I like being overwhelmed by customization options. And getting getting this car below 700 kilos is insane. Let's, let's just save the money. Fuck it. Let's just save the money for now. Ah, and this is where you can actually race the car. So it comes in this silver that is pretty basic. Masiora colors. What does that even mean? Oh! 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 Oh, God. How much is it? Ah, you can also do a color yourself. Wow, okay. Look at this. Dude, I'm gonna go with this color. I hope it's not expensive. Ah! Okay, no. No, 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 no. But eventually, eventually. Cutting sheet tune. What? They have like a basic livery editor in this even. That is insane. Let's not do the rim set. Honestly, now I just kind of want to drive. We've been <laughs> in the menus for like half an hour. Welcome to the whole world of highway racing. What do you mean? I thought this was a drifting game. Oh, so this is like people talking about the courses. Yeah, look at those. Those are just people. This feels like a living and breathing world. Like there's people actually talking about tracks and stuff here. So let's go up there. I want to see how this thing drives. <laughs> 110 horsepower on 740 kilos with really good tires and other stuff. A new course available. Looks like a, a rally background, that thing. Like a rally logo. So we can participate in the category race. We can enter the parking area and practice driving. Okay. Honestly, let's enter the parking area. I want to know what that is. No one's here. Okay. <laughs> Nobody is here. Hey, that is really cool. That They did that way before Horizon did it. Let's do a practice drive first. I want to I wanna feel confident. TA or CA attack? I assume that's the direction. Wait, I can start at the goal. <laughs> yeah, just put me, put me to the very end of the track, please. Thank you very much. Enable shift assist. Sure. I'm bad at manual. <laughs> cool stuff, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's, let's turn on some music. Dude, this thing is surprisingly fast. Holy shit. Okay, handling-wise, so far, way better than the Tokyo Extreme Racer games. I don't really see us drifting much. Yep, that is understeer. <laughs> I am pulling the handbrake. You know what the hand pulling the handbrake does? Understeer. Dude, the game feels good though. That's actually good handling. I'm actually kind of surprised. I really didn't think the handling would be good. I thought the Tokyo Extreme Racer game is always pretty decent, but the handling was not good. Approach the corner with the e-brake and full throttle. Gotta hold it for the whole ass turn. Oh god, okay. Ah oh, yeah, there you go. Kinda did it a little bit there. Conclude! Normal race Jim Kana? Jim well, was Jim Kana a thing back then? I mean let's just do the first event the game offers here. Talk with rivals at the paddock. You know what? Let's do that. That sounds like something I've never done before. Oh god, what have you done? <laughs> oh that's really cool, man. Like I basically go to a little giant here. That's what his street name is, you can't see. Shingo Suzuki. Let's talk with him. It's just a compact, but at least it's undefeated in official races. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> right, buddy. I'm sure of that. I just want a price. I'm not gonna race all out and risk hurting my car. This car is my baby. Yeah, it's an 8.5. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. He's driving an 8.5. Got him. <laughs> and a Copen. We need first place to get the CEXP. Next time, I'm definitely getting one, maybe, I hope. Melon Gripper. <laughs> this guy's name is actually Melon Gripper. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those Hikoni stalkers guys came out at night. I wonder if it's easier to make money as a team. Copen is a legit good starter car. Oh god, we're starting. So. I need 4,500 points. How do I get those? I assume through the drifting? Action! Action! Uh oh, that is going well. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. You lose it if you hit a wall. Maybe we shouldn't do drifting events in a formula drive car, guys. That does not seem like a pretty good idea. Oh, 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 puck, puck! Dude, I got like half of it in that turn alone. Look at this. You can't restart in this game? Oh shit. I think I have save states. <laughs> But to be honest, we probably might hold my time trials in this thing. I don't think this thing will do us any favors in terms of drifting. Should have bought the Levine. Yeah, then we probably would have had more luck there. But here we just have to be fast. 
That's cool. You can also grip through the corners if you want to. Like, you're not forced to drift in this game. Although, I'm not sure. Do you think drifting would be still faster with this thing if I messed it? Yeah, no, I, I, I think I got some drifting done there, but I think this car is a bit more at home in time trials for now. Look at that. Easy first. Under a minute. And then this X is a meta car. Thanks for giving me late game advice while I just started the game. I will definitely remember that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We have an SP bar. I assume that one depletes when we hit stuff. I think it's fast. Ouch. We can try doing the drifting again. Now that I have a little bit more of an understanding how the handling works. Okay. I think we really don't need a lot of points here. If you're good, you can actually get all the points in one turn. Okay, it's already going a little bit better than before. Okay, it's enough. Nice. They set the goals really low. So what, what's Shimkana then? This feels a little bit like a coffee break, not gonna lie. <laughs> and I know where to go. Okay, we actually managed to do it. Nice. Honestly, my advice is don't start in the front wheel drive car. It sounds like an absolutely horrible idea. Hey, yo, Pog! Did I do another one? Ah! No! <laughs> That's why we already won. I oh, can even turn the lights on. I just realized. Look at that. Ooh. Even enables the backlight of the license plate. That's something I don't think I've ever seen before. This game based in Fast and Furious Circuit. Of, no, not really. It's not really based on anything. <laughs> you can tell downhill this car is a little bit more at home. After getting accustomed to my little turbo box in the official daytime races, it was time for me to enter the night to gain some street rep. Yeah, we've already been playing for an hour and I haven't even done any of the night stuff. Don't think we're ready yet. Okay, let's, let's jump into the night. Let's see how that works. At night, you can beat down rivals that show up at the parking areas. But just hang out at the PA doesn't guarantee you'll meet every rival. The key is to finding rare rivals is checking the PA after various conditions have changed. Okay, so it's basically straight up from the other TXR games. But the PA. You got that! <laughs> I'll say it again. Until you reply to the slashes challenge on the BBS, you won't see him. So... Don't forget it. Okay, check my mails. Got it. Yeah, no, no official races. Now we, now we actually have to go to the parking area. Okay, I'm pretty sure we could take on this fool. So, dude, I have like twice the horsepower, man. Check out my AZ1, dude. With this many sponsor stickers, the next category race will make me rich. Our first actual race here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at this. Oh, even the hut changes a little bit. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Get smoked by a turbo box. Actual turbo box. But well, same as the other Tokyo Extreme races. The further away you are, the more you deplete his health bar. But I think you can also reach the end in first. I think that counts as well. Okay, he's a high gambler. Uh... No, let's not do that. It's interesting. I actually have to pick your fights. I <laughs> guy in the Yaris. How fast is it even? Uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky, I think. Yaris may be a bit harder to beat, but let's see. Mainly because that thing has a spoiler. You even turn the lights off. You can do that Takumi move. Oh, it's really cool. You start, you start your journey here in these, you know, shit boxes. I love that stuff, man. Oh, it's like a, it's like a pickup truck. <laughs> Why would you bring that here, man? Literally bringing dad's work car. So do I? What happens if I lose one of these races? Hey, hey, hey I've been waiting to see just how tough you really are. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, we are starting ahead. Nope. Can you wall ride in this game? Actually? Uh, to be honest, I think I just have more grip in the corners. That's, that's the only reason. Dude, look at this, man. <laughs> I think just has no grip in the corners. That's where the weight comes in, man. Dude, how am I actually beating that guy? Dude, imagine you have this mega tuned up 350Z and you get smoked by a literal turbo, turbo box. Get owned, man. Get the fuck out of my game. There you go, let's finish then. Okay, give me your money, man. <laughs> okay, I think that means we beat everyone. I don't think we can pull out another miracle win. Uh... What the fuck was that? <laughs> this thing beats everyone, what the hell? Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Why is this car so fast? Fucking meow. Thoroughly surprised this thing can smoke actually like tuned up 
Williams. 350Z, non Integra. I don't think we can pull out another miracle win. Yeah, definitely, definitely took that car there. Yeah, we actually literally beat everyone. In both Hiroshima and Hakone. Literally traveled halfway through Japan just to <laughs> ruin everyone. Just to ruin everyone tonight. Uh, so when night ends, one day has been completed. Obviously. Yeah, it's basically heat like 12 years before it became a thing. On my second in-game day, I tried my luck at getting some sponsors. For those, you need to complete a set challenge in a car provided by the sponsor. And upon success, you represent the sponsor during daytime races for some extra cash. I was kind of like taken back because I was like, yeah, I can't be like a seller car. If you tell me you get a car provided, then that changes things, of course. Oh, I get the seller car, okay. I thought it was my opponent. All right, cool. That's cool. That, that way we actually get to try out some faster cars. All right, let's go. That was way faster already. And four-wheel drive, so... Oh, yeah, that feels different. All right, there we go. Gives me some funds. And I guess the sticker as well. All right, let's do the other one then. How this thing looks. Oh, very nice. The EG6. Get out of here. Yeah, this front-wheel drive. That's the... It's so weird, that's the least front-wheel drive looking car ever. Now that I've done these, I earn more money in all the other races as well, right? But only if I actually apply the stickers. Gotta, gotta remember that, that's important. They actually have to apply them as well. We have the price money from 50k, but we also have a sponsor bonus of 21k. We actually earn extra money. 100,000! I was driving a Civic. Ooh, I think that's gonna be tough. But big money. See if we can do it. Oh, what is this course, man? I think I actually want to yank the handbrake here. I don't like that. I think that's a bit faster. I think a little bit of guidance. Not a bad idea. Oh, fuck. Wait, this car is insane. I feel like we're constantly punching way above our weight class. And we're beating Civic Type R's. B50Z's Integra's. It's crazy, man. On the first race in Hakone, and I've decided to post this on BBs because an up-and-coming racer has recently appeared in Hakone. He sees this post, I hope he'll come to see me at the Hakone. Okay. Now we answer. Issue a battle challenge to this rival. Sure, let's do it. Oh, that's a golf! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's a golf in this? 150k if we beat him. I think he's gonna be tough. Oh wait, no, never mind. Do I get to... Oh, that's a sponsor test. Oh shit. Oh, so I get to use the golf? Oh, let's go. Dude, what is that exhaust? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, golf time. Let's go. <laughs> nice. I thought I'd have to drive against this thing. Oh, that is awesome. Did I actually get to drive a golf, man? I didn't... Dude, this game has a golf. This Japanese drifting racing game has a golf. Oh, I get it. No. Wait, I got it. I got the exact time. I got the exact time to the thousands of a second and I lost. The exact fucking time, man. That has never happened. I've beaten or lost stuff to the second. But I never got the exact time to the thousandth, thousandth of a second. That is, that is new to me. That will never happen again in my life. I actually, no. That was definitely faster. This time we got it. Look at that. Actually, it doesn't look like we got the money. It said, it said funds, though. Scam! Only guy here I haven't beaten yet. Who is driving? Oh, boy. An FTO. Oh, I actually don't get any specs. Okay. Only two in FTO. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? I think he's gonna be fast. He's gonna probably be the first opponent that is actually really difficult to beat. Unless I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, seems like I'm wrong. <laughs> this thing is insane! I think when the drifting gets a little bit more difficult, like when they demand more points, we will definitely need something better for drifting, 100%. That was the first stage. We got another advanced race. And this one is the Turbo, F Turbo Festa. That means we can actually participate here in this in this turbo box. You get 1.5 mil for clearing a stage. 
Yeah, now we're absolutely balling. Okay, very nice. Not gonna say no. With my cash infusion, it was time to buy another car. This time something we will drive to help me out in the drifting competitions. Those are basically our only choices. Either we go for an 8.6 or an MX-5. MX-5 is more expensive. Oh, I can trade my shitty... My shitty shoebox. And then it's only 621, but I don't want to trade it. This thing is really good. And put a license plate number. Okay, guys. Obligated to put this on. Otherwise, I'm going to be sacked by the FBI. That is, that is how it is. So if a bunch of cash left, we can, we can do some good customization on this. Oh, those look nice, actually. I think I want them in white. Uh, should we go for the full arrow? I don't know, man. I can't say I'm a fan. Okay, we're back at set one. I think I'm gonna go for that one... What was it in the beginning? What was it? Yeah, just this one. I mean... It looks pretty shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I think this side is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Sponsors, depending where you put them, will give you more or less money. Really? Oh yeah, I got more money from... What? 50k if I put it here? Shit, you're right. 65k here? Are you kidding me? Enough fiddling around. Let's do it. Let's see if that thing was worth the money. Another rival encounter. You had the Day PA in Akagi. Okay. Let's see if I can beat him in this thing. And even it's a drift battle. Okay, perfect. Okay, sometimes these cutscenes are broken. I don't know what's going on. We need 18,000 points. Okay. So this thing better be good. Oh wow, yep. Immediately spun. Car didn't come with a reverse gear, sadly. Honestly, I don't think you got it. I don't think you need the handbrake anymore. Dude, this is such a different beast. I'm gonna need some time to get used to this. Oh man. I got 420 points, pog. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, pog, man. Look at this. Game calls me an expert. <laughs> not sure if I also have to beat the clear time. In that case, we are fucked. Yeah, you have to, you have to. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. So, I have to be fast and smooth. That's gonna be tricky. And yeah, it's the first really tricky event. I like it. So far, it's been a little bit too easy, I gotta be honest. It's really funny that the ghost is basically just a shadow. It might be an emulation error, to be honest. Oh, let's fucking go, man. I like the drifting in this. It actually takes skill. Uh, uh... Are you kidding? Ah! Always so damn close, man. Ooh, ah. I might need to make my Miata faster. Watch me prove you wrong. Oh, uh, yes. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Boom! Got him, man. Oh, the doubters in chat. There you go. That was a trial fire. I had to master drifting in like this one event if I wanted to beat it. I had to get good immediately. All right, now we should be able to participate in that advanced race. I'm not sure if it's based on... Yeah, yeah, it's drifting. Perfect. Yeah, it's been a... Oh, fuck. Dude, I lost it in the last second. You know what? Maybe you don't want the handbrake for that one. You get too much angle from the handbrake. Track is really made for more speed, to be honest. You can, you can really tell. I'm not, I don't have enough speed to do all these turns here. You can't, you can't get any points in that first corner, straight up. Action. It's impossible. Damn it, dude. This track is not made for this car. I just, be, I need to get that out of my head, man. Just because I get into a drift zone doesn't mean I have to drift. I can also just not drift and keep my speed. Ooh, that was close. Okay, but I think we got it. Okay, just end it. If it's good enough for the game, holy moly! It's just sponsor bonus. And we got one medal. It looks like a Lego stud, man. I'm gonna increase our category level. Yeah, but we now also have the Turbo Festa. Well, let's see if the car can also go fast. Let's do it. Great stud. So I'm sure if drifting is faster. Honestly, considering how much I fuck it up, it probably isn't. Yeah, three seconds too slow. Either that or some upgrades. Yeah, this thing needs upgrades. 100%. Then I just clear. 
We've already been clear by that previous event that I restarted a bunch of times. I might need to make my Miata faster. Watch me prove you wrong. Oh, I think this might be it, though. No, come on! Off by 0 0.06 seconds. Dude, how is it that I have so many close calls in this game? That is insane. I even matched a time. Literally matched to the thousands of the second. I know this is beatable. I just have to, like, really push it, man. The car is swerving all over the fucking place. I want to be done. Yes! Ah... <sighs> uh. And that wraps up my first day in Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift 2. All in all, I am still thoroughly impressed with this game. I really did not expect such a high level of quality and content. I've played the game a lot more since that first stream. So if you'd like to see more, make sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Lastly, as usual, a special thanks to my patrons for supporting my channel directly. All your help is greatly appreciated. Another special shout out goes to JakeMG for helping me out with this video. I hope to see you all back again soon, perhaps then with another video on this lovely game. Take care.